Hello everyone, I'm Zomero1 and I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to work with Pad in the game Planet Zoo. So to start, let's create some Pad. Pad in here. There we go. First thing what you can change is your angle of Pad. This is how it's going to work. You can turn it off completely for this on some 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 degrees next thing is length you can increase or decrease by plus and minus uh, next to your backspace uh, comma the style of camera how it's going to fall bit you can change it by square back it just under plus and minus how we change the length the next thing what I want to show you is when you are building now let's say here yeah, and you wanna go up or down you just hold your mouse and go up and down or you can use shortcut by U is up and J is down alright if you want to put some part over here but this auto connection don't let you go just press ctrl and you can place it here it uh, might happen that if you have this on max it won't let you make even when you are holding control of the stuff there so just decrease this and it will be working all right a uh, link to grid is uh, very useful. You can uh, choose a specific object, and you can see there is a grid created. So now when I create the path, it's based on this building. And plus, in here, when you have selected some, some object, you can go to square edges, and here you are creating square. And we select the pretty and this. And let's try another one. And then I choose this one. The part is based on my selected object is not more following the first one. When you build something wrong, you can press Ctrl Z, uh, press Ctrl Z, undo the changes. Very useful tools. And do something that you didn't know what have you done those are some basics and let's uh, look at some next settings so it's not not good uh, so let's turn off everything and I will try explain every single one Fatal Train and let's build something here now you can see what's going on. It's making a hole here. So this is how working. When I turn this off, it's not. It's will. It's leave the ground the way where it is. Tunneling. Tunneling is uh, similar to this one, but with the fact that it make the bigger hole and even under under this path. Path supports. Path support are best to see. Let's create something that's going to be up. And now you can see path supports are to stuff. When I turn this off, there are no path supports. Cool slopes uh, are. Let's turn it off first. Uh, I'm going to create. create I'm going to create slope right here. So this is one. Well, this is turned off. And when I turn on cool slopes, you can make something like this. Yeah. 
Ja, końca. Ok, on the ground part. So let's move from the ground. And let's build first on bit out. Now and you can see here. You can see immediately what's going on. The railings on ground. Here you can find here. Let's take a look. There is the front. Relics on elevated. And without it. Relics on ground part. Alongside bodies, this is very really useful. When you have some habitat, you can, as you can see, snap to the barriers, and now you can build just next to your habitat, your part. It's not box the other side you have pressed to build up the barriers. Uh, it's very uh, nice to see when you make some big and how you always work. With the junction when jogging part. Mm. When you have some part, it's gonna make sure that But there is this T style or connect link. If you don't want to use this, you can unselect this or press key short Z. Now you can see nicely. And it's not happening no more when I press Z. Mm, highlight hidden barriers uh, didn't find out what this exactly do but if I find out I can uh, write on command here. Yeah. One more thing uh, what you need to know is this will be very useful when you go press shift holding the control see you can go up and down with your ground Let's go again. Choose part. Shift, hold, control, and up and down. Nicely done. If you have some more tips how to work with parts, please leave the comment. I will add this to description of this video. So check the in description if there are some more tips for you guys and i will make sure that next to the description is going to be your your channel so you can help yourself to be seen so thanks for watching if you like don't forget to subscribe and see you soon again bye